Yeah, so I stayed up last night watching uh, some old UFC fights just off the uh, out of the fight library at UFC.com. I really like using that um, that resource, that uh, that fight library. You know, rather than um, paying you know the big bucks to watch um, whatever the most recent show is, I'd rather go back in the fight library and just kind of study what's what's in the past and uh, or in the recent past. Anyway, um, last night I kind of like focused on this guy, Conor McGregor, uh, Irish flyweight, I believe, and uh, I had heard about him on a recent um, podcast from Joe Rogan was talking about him, you know, his, uh, for the UFC, for MMA, kind of unorthodox style because he's mixing in um, some kicks and stuff that you don't normally see. So I want to check it out and uh, see what I thought of him. And definitely, you know, what he's doing adds some um, some excitement and unpredictability to the fights. I haven't seen his most recent fight um, in the UFC because that one that one you still have to uh, pay for the program. It's not old enough yet to be to be uh, free in the fight library. But um, but I checked out three of his uh, three of his earlier fights in the UFC and they might be that might be all that he he's done in terms of his uh, UFC fights prior to his most recent and uh, in this first first bout in the UFC he had a uh, first round knockout um, second fight uh, he won by decision but he was really obviously dominant the whole fight and uh, the third fight actually took place in in uh, Ireland and was his fight was the main event and uh, he won in the first round knockout in the first round so um, he seems to be pretty good and seems to be that um, He's uh, a definite contender for the for the belt um, for his weight class, which I think is flyweight. I'm not, I'm not sure, but in any case, um, what did I think about his style? Um, it was it was neat because he's incorporating things like um, like capoeira and um, you know he's fighting. Mostly uh, southpaw, although he can he can seems to be able to change stances. Um, where uh, most fighters in the UFC, I think probably through their boxing training, fight orthodox. Um, he's fighting southpaw and kind of using that what I associate with like like uh, JKD concepts, using the lead leg quite a bit. So he's throwing lead leg side kicks. He's throwing lead leg uh, hooks, or what? What I was grew up knowing as uh, reverse hooks, but basically a kick that I <laughs> I would think um, really not much worthwhile. Although guys like like Bill Superfoot Wallace used to make good use of it. Um, it's pretty. It's a pretty difficult kick to. Uh, well, it takes it takes uh, I think a certain talent maybe to master that kick. But then if you have it, like a lot of TKD guys learn it, um, and if you got it and you use it in a certain context like in MMA, it's so unexpected that it might just work. Um, but like, you know, Bill Wallace used to use it 
kickboxing very effectively. And, you know, and there were others too. Um, so, you know, you can't say that it's, it's not a good kick. But what I noticed with uh, McGregor is that, you know, he's incorporating all this stuff. And even like, there was one point in, um, I think in the fight in, uh, that he had in Ireland, where he actually did a, um, a, a roll, like a forward, um, forward break fall type of a roll to close the gap, to close the distance between him and his opponent to get into grappling range. I mean, that's just like, <laughs> you just don't see that. So, um, some really different stuff. Uh, for the most part, I think the effectiveness of it seems to be that um, it's confusing his opponents. It's not really that he's landing a lot of these fancy kicks, like he throws that one of those capoeira kicks quite often, it doesn't seem to land, and then same with the, uh, the hook kick, the reverse hook. Um, there was a kind of a double front kick, um, he was landing a lot, um, especially in his first fight in the UFC, but, but um, you know, other than that, I think the approach he's taken, how it's been effective has not necessarily been through the strikes landing, but through um, throwing his opponents so off guard because they're not expecting those techniques, because nobody Nobody in MMA trains much for defense against those techniques. So he's throwing them off guard and then really using um, boxing skills to, to finish them. I mean, the, the boxing is what's really connecting and um, what's giving him the knockouts. Um, but he's able to um, get in with the boxing a lot better, I think, because he's using these, um, for MMA, really kind of unorthodox techniques. So I kind of look forward to um, following him because I think one day <laughs> he might uh, really start connecting with some of these more fancy techniques and that will be um, interesting to see, you know like whether or not if he starts connecting with his um, with his capoeira kicks for instance whether or not um, others begin to kind of emulate that in MMA um, yeah but it'll all I think it'll all depend on whether it actually starts being effective but certainly at this point it does have an effectiveness but that effectiveness is mainly for throwing the opponents off guard so that they don't have any idea what to expect is going to come of him next. I mean, yeah, he could, he could throw that capoeira kick, or he could suddenly tumble in and grapple with you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Makes for some makes for some interesting fun fights. And uh, I'll keep following him um, and just to see what where he's able to go with that.